What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. It's Oss. Let's get productive. So today I want to talk about something really great. Now I'm always looking for plugins like this, plugins that are going to take my mix to that next level, really brighten it, make it super punchy, and take it to that next stage in the mixing process to where I feel like it's competitive with other beats or other songs that are out there in the market. Now, I hate saying things like the all-in-one plugin, that so-called plugin that's gonna do everything for you. I don't believe there's a plugin like that. So let's just get that out the way. I do think you have to do the work. You do have to do the mix and make your thing sound good first before it hits any plugin in order for the plugin to work properly and do what you want it to do. But I do think there are some plugins out there that can get your mix to sound great with a lot less work. And this plugin that I'm about to show you guys can do so much in this one box that it really kind of becomes the only plugin that I find myself needing in the final stages of my mix. This plugin is made by renowned engineer Jason Joshua. He does amazing work in the industry and the Cradle App team. And they came out with this brand new plugin called the God Particle. It's kind of like an all-in-one plugin, one of those multi-effects type plugins, but it focuses primarily on your mix bus and your master bus and getting that sound to punch the way it needs to. It has a limiter built in it and a lot of other things happening underneath the hood of this VST programmed by Jason Joshua to give you that sound that you're going for in the final stages of your mix. So without wasting any more time, Jason Joshua, Cradle, the God Particle, let's see what it's all about. Out. So, as always, I have Logic queued up, and this is the God Particle. Now, I know you guys have been seeing the ads for this thing. I've been seeing it everywhere. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, like the ads are popping up everywhere. And sometimes ads like that annoy the hell out of me. But for some reason, in this situation, it didn't. And I, I, I recall myself trying to figure out why. And I think the reason why is because of the UI and how clean this thing looks and how futuristic and cool it looks, every single time an ad pops up for it, I find myself staring at it like, I really have no idea what this thing does and what it's for, but it looks cool as <laughs> It's so clean looking, so futuristic looking. If you put any audio through this thing, you get the little god particle dust floating around in the atmosphere. Really clean, really dope. It just makes you want to stare at it for a really long time. But before we get into any of that stuff, we're gonna talk about what's happening here on the screen. Now, like I said in the intro, this thing is to help guide you through those final stages in the mixing process. This is Jason Joshua's whole mix bus flow inside of one plugin. So it has a lot of things happening under the hood in the algorithm, kind of operating on smart mode and just kind of fixing your sound behind the VST. Now I really wanna emphasize that this is definitely the type of plugin that you wanna push audio through. You wanna mix through this plugin. So just having this on your mix bus, having it turned on and, and gain staging and then doing your mix and pushing that audio through this plugin the whole time, is just gonna really get you where you wanna be and really get your sound to sound Incredible. If you look at the screen here, we have a few things happening on the main screen right here. So you have your input volume indicators right here. And you'll notice you see this little green rectangular box here. You also have some green squares over here in the gain reduction section. One of the really cool things that Jason Joshua did was he put markers inside this VST to where you want your audio to be and where you want it to sit in order to get the sound that you're going for as well as the sound that he typically goes for in the studio. You want your input to kind of sit inside of this rectangular box. Obviously you can mix it how you want and you can introduce as much uh, audio into this plugin as you want and you can adjust the input as you want, but this is, is roughly where you want things sitting inside of that square box. I'll just play the whole beat so you can kind of see things a little bit better. You'll notice that I have the input hitting that rectangle box and over here in the gain reduction sections, you'll notice with the lows, the mids and the highs, all of those things are touching these, these green square boxes. 
And that's roughly where you wanna be with a good mix to get your thing to sound as polished as you would like it to be. Over here on the left side, you have your EQ section. So if you do need to make some sudden tweaks to the highs and the mids and the lows to kind of get things to sit a little bit better, you can do that with this EQ section. Over here in the, in the middle, this is your amount knob. I like to call it the God particle knob. And this is where everything that's happening inside of this VST, as well as behind the VST, under the hood of the VST, all of the different algorithms that they have working inside of this VST. Right? Over here on the right side, you have your gain reduction section. And over here, you have a limiter that you can turn on and off. So that's the beat playing without the limiter. And that's the beat playing with the limiter turned on. You have your output section and you know you can make your adjustments the way you need to. Up here at the top, you have a section where you can save your different presets. I actually already have a preset saved here. I call it magic because it's magical. That was, I'm, I'm sorry I said that, that was horrible. I wish I didn't say that, but I call it magic. And over here in the UI scale, you have a section where you can adjust the size of the UI. So you can go from 100 all the way up to 200%, bring it back down to 85%, really cool stuff. And that's really it, it's that simple. A super easy to use plugin, but it doesn't matter because this thing does its job and it does it well. Now, I am not a, a mixing guru. I didn't go to school for audio engineering. You know, I, I barely know music theory. I kind of just learned along the way. Like a lot of you guys that watch my channel, you're learning as you go along. But I do have a well of knowledge from years of experience of working on different projects. And, and that mixing phase is so important. And it's such a breath of fresh air when you can find certain plugins that can help you get that polished sound that you're looking for, and this thing does that. And I have a beat here, and you've been able to hear elements of it here and there while I've been showing you the plugin so far, but I have a beat here that is not quite mixed, and that's very important. I wanted to gain stage the beat and to get the level sitting somewhat properly, but do a slight mix on it to show you guys just what this can do to the sound of a, of a regular mix. Like, if you're in your house right now watching this video and you're making a beat and you wanna bounce that beat out to send it to a client and you don't have a lot of time to do a super intricate mix and you just wanna throw a plug in on your mix bus and get that beat to sound the way you want it to sound just by moving a few faders around and kind of gain staging and that's about it, you can do the most basic mix, the quickest, most basic mix and this thing will make your beat sound dope, just incredible as hell. So I wanted to show you guys what the beat sounds like with the God Particle off, and then I wanna show you guys what it sounds like with the God Particle on, and kinda of walk you through some of what I did inside the plugin. So this is the beat without anything on it, with, with the God Particle uh, plugin turned completely off, and I'm actually gonna bring up a level meter here so you can kinda of see what's happening there as well. And this is the beat with God Particle on. Now, some of the things that I have going on here is I definitely have the limiter turned on because like I said, I didn't do a super intricate mix on this beat. So I wanted to add a little bit of a ceiling there to kind of get the levels to sit the way I wanted them to sit and kind of crunch it a little bit. For this type of beat, I kind of like that crunchy, muffled sound. It kind of has a retro feel to it. Um, so I definitely threw a limiter on there. I made some adjustments to the highs, the mids, and the lows. Now, one of the things that I noticed about this plugin is you can put this plugin on your mix bus and don't do anything. You don't have to make any adjustments. And as soon as the audio starts hitting this plugin, it's gonna sound great. 
but we all do our mix downs based on how we hear things and how we want other people to hear our music. Um, Jason Joshua has his own signature sound and he really built this plugin based on that. So one of the things that I noticed as far as EQ is concerned is you're gonna get a lot more punch in this plugin from the lows and the mids. The highs are ducked back a little bit. So if you wanna introduce more highs, you have this knob right here and you can introduce higher frequencies into your sound. But these are basically the settings that I have set up for this beat. And I have the God particle knob pushed up to about 149%. I like where that sits. I like how that sounds. And I turned the input up about six decibels just because when I was gain staging the beat before this plugin, like I said, I didn't do a really good mix on it. Primarily the drums. The drums are the things that I didn't really touch that much as far as the mix is concerned to this beat. I did all of the drums inside of one plugin and I didn't take the time to really bounce them out and really level them like that. So they're all coming from one plugin. So when I was gain staging the sounds inside of this beat, I really turned a lot of things down a lot to make sure that nothing is, is too distorted or over the top. And because of that, I turned the input up a lot, you know, just to introduce more of the audio signal into this plugin, but it does its job incredibly well. Like I said, this is the beat with the God Particle on. And this is the beat with it off. On, off. So as you can hear, there's an intense difference in the quality and the sound that is coming out of this thing once you put it on your mix bus. And no lie, this is the only plugin that I have on my mix bus. As you can see right over here, it's the God Particle. I have this level meter right here, and I have a slight EQ that I introduced after the God Particle just to boost some of the higher frequencies inside of the beat and you know brighten it up just a little bit but like i said i barely have to do anything you just throw this thing on and it really takes your track to a whole nother level so now what i want to do is just get right into the quick up i want to play this beat with the dot particle on so you guys can hear how it sounds so this is the beat i made and this is how it sounds running through the god particle <laughs> And that's it, that's the beat I made, and that's the sound running through the God Particle. Now, like I said earlier, this beat is barely mixed. I did a slight bit of gain staging. I didn't even bounce the drums out and gain stage the drums. All of these drums are coming from one VST that I have inside of my DAW, and I barely adjusted the levels on that. And you can already hear how this thing sounds with very little mixing done and, and slight gain staging. So. If you use this thing to its fullest potential, really gain stage, really take the time to EQ the sounds how you wanna EQ them, and really get your mix tight, and you do your mix through this plugin, so you're actually hearing what the end result is gonna sound like because the plugin is on the whole time that you're doing the mix, you can get an incredible result coming out of this plugin. And this is like, not even to gas it, like so far this is one of my favorite plugins of the year. The Knock plugin by Decap was one of my favorite plugins that came out. I believe it came out last year, but it could have been the beginning of this year, but it's one of my favorite plugins that came out more recently as far as mixing goes. And this is another one that I already know I'm gonna be introducing into my workflow all the time because it just makes it so much quicker and easier to get that sound that you're going for. So I'm really excited about this plugin. You know, I think Jason Joshua, I think Cradle, they all did a great job. And it's a really great price. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Is this a plugin that you're gonna be checking out? Let me know down in the comments section if there's any new VSTs and new plugins that you'd like to see me review on this channel. And as always, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you can stay notified 
anytime I drop a new video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.